Ladies and gents, welcome back. Second podcast of the week. We're back in the swing of things. It's a Saturday affairs. It's a bit rusty. Yeah, this no, it, just it, just it, rust sitting out again. here feels very weird. <laughs> one, <laughs> one week away, it just feels like you lose all continuity, but yeah. we're, we're back. I had, I had a warm-up on Monday, so I'm in, yeah, I'm no, in the swing I'm, of things. You have to get back into the, the swing of stuff. Yeah. Um, and we've got a, I think, a very topical for our podcast. We recorded this on Tuesday, by the way, so if any of these predictions... A regarding bit mental, Champions yeah. League, I go wrong or right. <laughs> we call it on Tuesday. It's probably like good that we did it today. Yeah, it's if, actually you know it's authentic. Because I mean? yeah, yeah, normally exactly. we call it the Wednesdays Wednesday. for Thursday, but we would have seen a few games. But we've got Champions League predictions. Yeah. We've got uh, power rankings for football clubs, current rankings. Um, talking about Barca, a lot in the Serie A again. Um, and then at the top of the table clash in the Bundes, they get a cover off as well. All to fit into A lot to fit into now, 15. <laughs> we'll see how we go. We're, we should be, we should get there. Um I'm going to get straight into it, uh, straight into Syria again. I think mm. that's, we're starting there most weeks think, these yeah. days. But um, let's have a talk about the two, I guess the big boys in many regards, Inter and Juve, both dropping points on the weekend. Mm. Inter, when I get to the Champs League prediction, it'll be interesting for Juve. Back-to-back draws. Nil-nils. Nil-nils. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of Allegri boys. This, I was about to say, is this Allegri? <laughs> we're sitting here about eight months ago, so I'm the same thing about Allegri. Know, yeah. But uh, they've got two tough ones. Inter, Drew to Monza, it just seemed <laughs> to be their bogey. Team yeah. or actually the Milan's bogey. They, they mm. always get the better of both Milan's. Um, that was a really intriguing game as well. I think it was the theme of the weekend though. Across all f- the leagues, it felt really rusty. Yeah, it did. It felt a lot of tired legs. Yeah. Like players could only go 60, 70 minutes. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, you got to credit those those smaller clubs. Oh they've God. just come out and mm. um, you know they've played really well. I thought Monza again. I mean, it's it's a similar story with them. You know, yeah. we had AC Milan last year. They Killed them, and they just always do well against against big teams. They they just like the challenge. I love it. They, they love it. So I was pretty happy with them. For Inter, it's like it's disappointing, but yeah. it's nothing to to panic about. I don't think. I still think they created enough. They just just couldn't put it in. Yeah, in the back they, of the net, had, so. had enough possession, enough like mm. a few few uh, chances. They rotated few. Head, like their bench but, was yeah. incredible. I said the <laughs> midfield. Was like, wait, who's playing? I was watching the extended highlights and the lineups came out and I was like, okay, Callan, yeah, yeah. I was like, they're on the bench. And yeah. I looked at the bench, it was just class after class. Starting playing away, bro. What is this team, man? Bench as well, I'm sitting like, here oh, saying, oh, no. they, should, they should have signed a, a world-class player, like a 10, but bro, that team there's, is there's depth. incredible, yeah. A lot of depth there. And, and Dumfries comes off the bench to get yep. that equalizer mm-hmm. at the end. I feel sort of bad for Monza because they put together yeah. the perfect <laughs> like game plan. They sat in. Um, started slow, but as the game grew yeah. on, you're like, okay, at, after half time, like, they're going to be another score here. They're going to be yeah. the team that's going to find felt, the chance yeah. and score the chance. And I was thinking, like, this is going to be Milan. It's going to be mm. Milan all over again. They just got very unlucky. They couldn't hold on. Mm, just right? a bit of class. That's I know right. t- yeah. the cross took a bit of deflection from, uh, I think it was Augusto. Yeah, it was. It yeah, in, yeah, yeah. Which, from first time seeing, I was like, what a fucking ball. Yeah. But also, the, still a great ball, but I, the deflection yeah. did help a little helps bit. Helps out of it, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's an okay point for Inter. Just mm. come back from the first international break of many for the yeah. season, which is annoying. Yeah, but um, yeah, Inter, I still think they'll, that, they'll, they'll be, be fine. fine. Yeah. A, a, a question quickly before we move on. Lataro, mm. obviously had a fantastic year last year. Taram's obviously taken that mould this year. He's got four goals yeah, already got this season. Four goals and like a couple of assists. Um, mm. We know how many goals Kalinogli scores in midfield. Mm. Are they just waiting for him to like... Awaken. Yeah, I think it's it's a bit like a couple of players from the Euros that are, they're slowly just gonna mm. kind of just build into the season. Um, I think they're just kind of a lot. Of, a lot of the players at the moment feel like they're just trying to rest their bodies a bit yeah. during game, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like Cross trying to pace a themselves a bit because of how many games there's going to be <laughs> with the new Champions League and stuff. So yeah, I think I think he'll be okay. Yeah. He's, he's proved last year that he's. he's He's got a bit of credit in the bank. That's what I will say. Last season, so, he's got a fair, and fair <laughs> enough credit in the bank. Um, it's a good point for Monza. Inter just a little slip up. Could have gone yeah. top in that game, but uh, they keep it alive. And a team that could have pounced on that was Juventus, who drew Neil Newton Empoli. Not much to talk about in this game, realistically. I mean, it's kind of it's, the, the concerns we've always had with them. That was where we well titled it. I thought Neil Newton was like, is this a leg week? <laughs> <laughs> because yeah. they haven't conceded yet this season. So they look. That's a positive. That was a leg week, wasn't it? They were that, always pretty. That was that to a nutshell, yeah. right? Gatti at the back was fantastic Gatti's in this game. Been, he was 
It was getting a chance going forward. He was driving mm. it forward as well. He's, he's one of the informed defenders in the oh. world at the minute, to be honest. He's Seriously. Like, he's taken over that. Seriously Bremer good. was the guy last year. Yeah. God, he's become the guy this year. That block at the end. My was, God. <laughs> even oh. the keeper was like, <laughs> I think, yeah, he was, <laughs> he was, was loving crazy, it. That was a crazy, was, that was a crazy block. block. It's just, it, that's that's the kind of block that puts you on the map. A bit like Delit. Do you remember yeah, his tackle when yeah, he was at Juve? I know crazy. he was on the map at Ajax, but yeah. I always see that tackle. That was the that's kind of block moment. where you it's can, like, okay, this is, yeah, it's a serious defender here. Because I, I, I know he's grew. I never really rated yeah, him no. like that. I always thought, oh, he's one of those, like, just stopgap yeah. kind of players. Yeah, exactly. But fair play. He's, he put together yeah. a shift in this game here. Yeah. Um, like, there was a few half <clears> chances, but... To be honest, similar to the um, Monza game, it was actually Empoli that was probably the team that, yeah. in the end, looked more like it on the back end of it. So it was the last sort of 10 minutes where Empoli <laughs> probably could have genuinely scored. There was a few there, you see the, blocked, the, yeah. the blocks, and I think there was one of those two blocks in a row. Yeah. Um, repeated shots. It was just, it was a, it was a funny game mm. because, again, it felt a little bit like Juve last season where yeah. it was like, where's that goal going to come from? Where's it's just that? their forward line, isn't it? Like their midfield looks great. Like Coop yep. Miners had a couple of decent chances, but mm -hmm. nothing clear cut. Um, but in that just front three alone, it's just Vlahovic or exactly, plus, yeah. isn't it? So. And I guess with these young players around, you're going to get the odd good game, but yeah. you're going to get a lot of inconsistency. Inconsistency. And like that's just the nature of it, isn't mm. it? It's, it's, so. it's just a little, little worry for something I say enough there for you. Because yeah. they started, like, started well prior to the last two games, but. It's not like they're drawing to, no. you know. Em well, like Empoli, we had going down. Yeah. <laughs> so I think they're like seventh. I think Verona is Verona up there. <laughs> Empoli up the there. The only one we've got right is um, Venezia. Venezia. Yeah, but that was a slam dunk. Well, yeah, right? but they were bankrupt, so <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you can't really count that one, Kim. Um, Cesc Fabregas. Udinese has yeah. gone top. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, so yeah they, they beat uh, Palmer. Came Palmer back. last yeah. night. Again, Venezia continued to compete. I just saw that, sorry, this morning. Mm. It's crazy, crazy this Good season. On. Yeah. Crazy season, Syria. Udinese, again, stereotypical, just... Bank them bottom half, mm. just let them sit there. Actually, but yeah, you've got that with the the leagues that we cover, like all of them at the moment. Like you can make a case for Top three two. teams that could yeah. compete. So keep this up, good content. Yeah, right? I was say it's, it's like it's making us please interesting content. Yeah. Genuinely, <laughs> yeah. genuinely keep it this way because it would make this make it intriguing at the whole season. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, the final team I want to cover off in the Syria is the team that was top <laughs> and took this morning was Napoli. Mm. To talk about um, ups and downs, we were crisis, we were we were crisis. Oh my god! Literally, that week. was us. And now it's <laughs> left line and the Kaku scoring. I tell you, what, when I was in this game, but the the bloody fireworks over there at the oh my ground. God. I, I was jumping <laughs> myself. And, you, I was, yeah, I was like, and you mentioned this. I was the same. I was like, what? 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 I was watching the game. I'm like, it was like jumped up and like, <laughs> check the window. Like, there's no bombs going yeah. up. Oh my god! It was a it was an interesting environment at Cagliari, but um. This is an occasion of getting the result done against these sort of teams, and right? Convincingly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They rode, they rode some moments. They rode some. You think maybe they're not quite at it, but mm. I feel like that's a Conte style. Like, if you look at the stats, it looks very even. Mm. You look at the game and how it panned out. It was like they never really gave up yeah, no. control. I think it was the first half. It was similar to. Um, Oh, who they first a few weeks ago where the keeper got sent off? Was it Palmer? Palmer it one, felt yeah, like Palmer yeah, yeah. a bit. The first, I think it was yeah. the first half where. Yeah. It was just a bit sloppy, a bit mm. kind of lethargic. Maybe the international break, I don't know. Mm. But um, yeah, second half, they were, I thought they were very good. That was the best I've seen Zambo and Gisa in. Yeah, a long time. A lot, since they won the Scudetto. Yeah, genuinely. He looks, yeah. he was driving with the ball and I think seeing McTominay and Gilmore come through the door, it's kind of, mm. well, I think he's the one that's got to stay. Yeah, yeah. If they're going to a three or even if they're staying in a two, I think Labotka has got to be the one to... To make way, Another quite a game from him. Yeah. Kravitz Kelly was fantastic. He's oh. he's been given a new life, I think, with Serious Lukaku player. there. Yeah, yeah. He's almost like is Lukaku like Haaland of Syria? Genuinely, I was gonna have, I have my notes. He could be like the greatest Syria player bro. of all time. <laughs> he's <laughs> he moves clubs. Else. Yeah, he starts every club. So his first season, every single club, he's the best mm. player on the team. Internationally, he sucks. He sinks. Premier League, he's been he stinks awful. there. Again, he's just, it's a great what it. if. It's like Sancho in the Bundesliga. It you know, it's it's genuinely players are just. I don't know how many times we've said this. Players are just built for, for just, leagues. just different leagues. Like, just, yeah. The way he just like came in was in our four goal contribution. I in, think like, so. Yeah. Less than mm. two games, 
Good assist for the first goal. Yep. Great goal himself. Great goal. Like just pounce like proper Lukaku type finish yeah, could around have had, the box. Could have had another one or two. Um, yeah, I think he hit the upright as well. Like mm. he, he was just constantly involved and thinking like, gee, this is what Napoli, what, like this is the most ideal. You ship yeah. off awesome and not to deal with that toxic environment. Yes, he's probably the better player. Yeah. But I think with Conte, and he comes with an ego himself. You don't want to have yeah, too no. many egos in there. I'm glad you mentioned that. It's good that that situation is, oh, is done. It's strange. Well, strange thing because I don't know what he's going to do this year. It's such a waste of a year. Yeah, um, I but I think for Napoli, it's worked out perfectly. You get the two midfielders in. Because I remember we were chatting. We thought just Gilmore or just McTominay. They've gotten both. Both, yeah, which um, is a bit of a shit. I think the first game was probably the best thing that could have happened to oh, them. Because like, we don't need one. Yeah. We need two. Yeah, We need to you revitalize know? this side. We need yeah. to get some more we legs. We need Lukaku it. like now. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Even even De, um, De Lorenzo, he's slagging yeah. him off in the first. Game. He's been fantastic since. No, he's... It's, it's looking dangerous. He looked like, terrible. That he looked so bad that first. He had game. no legs. He Zero was legs gone. I thought it was like Casemiro two point oh. I thought like, leave the football before <laughs> the football leaves you. Hit the Saudi like, champion. <laughs> Saudi's calling. Cool. But he's um yeah fair play to him. He's he's leading by example. Perhaps they're a watch. A so, big big yeah. watch right now. How how I know it's like. Four or five games in, how mm. how no European football? Yeah, it's a can one. can they compete? Do you do you think they can compete? In my head, I thought they could. Mm. At the start of the, that's when my I had him, I had him third. I didn't have a third or fourth, one to two. I think we had him fourth. Yeah, Milan, which but, <laughs> yeah, it's turning. <laughs> oh, it's, 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 it's turning. sort of I mean, But in my mind, I thought they'd be that. Um, similar how Liverpool was last season, the Premier League like, surprise. Yeah, kinda. like they'll yeah. be second or third, and probably f- be top at Christmas or something like that. And that's a big step. But then. Yeah. It's that next jump. That I don't, they're not at that yet. We know yeah, that. No. We're looking at the squad. They're not at that yet. But it's got enough while Champions League starting. We're like match. We're in like yeah. September. Mm. We've got Champions League football. Yeah. We're like, these teams are going to tie at the start of the year. Yeah. Back in the season, tiredness goes out the door. I feel like it's just like, just true. Just proper quality stands out. So by then they might drop away. But they'll have a time on top of the league. Yeah. I think at December time, they'll be there. It's just if when do Juventus... Get their groove back. Mm. When did Inter start to kick? Start to kick. Yeah. Uh, AC in that mould already with a few better performances now. I think we'll know a lot about Napoli once they verse one of the the big because they haven't really. Well, there was Palmer. Is it? Um, I think Bologna's in there. They beat three 0 Yeah. Um, it hasn't obviously been. the Verona game. Um, yeah, they play. Let's have a quick series of these. You say Palmer. I don't think it's um, fantastic. I want to say Cagliari, uh, Bologna, yeah. and Verona. Yeah. So, yeah, it's not the uh, elite crop of mm. teams in there, but results Still, are results. Yeah. Conference and performances are, you know, good. So. The Conte, I can, I can see the Conte, Conte yeah. footprint already. For every goal, it's like they win the World Cup. The, have you seen the, the bench? Celebration. Bro, it's, put that in in your new FIFA or <laughs> yeah, something like that. Walk it in there. Jesus. The emotions are going nuts. Get a goal in the ninth minute and just the, 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 the Conte was like, I like, whole coaching stuff. I, I like it. It's good. It makes it, inter- it, makes it good. It makes got it a chip on his shoulder. But so. I, I, I rest, that's a good word. Chip on the, I think like a lot of players have chip on their shoulder. Kravitz Gilly, I think. Yeah. He won't. Well, it's just the whole club, even like that. himself, yeah. yeah. It's, it was a tough, tough year. <laughs> It was, uh, it was mudded. How many times we say, oh, they could make the, com- the, the comeback here? Nope. <laughs> yeah. And they just kept, didn't <laughs> they get got the worse, gun. I think. <laughs> I think they got worse. But there you go. They're, it's a, they're sort of your summary of the weekend's action series. As I said, Udinese are good top. We'll have to talk about them more yeah. next week and discuss what they're doing. But Napoli back into it. AC is sort of turning things around slowly, slowly. into just just jumping on the bike to keep ticking yeah. their legs over. And Juventus are a little bit worried about. Um, that brings me into the main part of today's show. Again, it's going to be weird the continuity of this because it comes out on Thursday. The games will basically already be being played, but I guess, like I guess we'll, we'll see how we do then. You know? Exactly. We're going to look at this. See how we do. So, and then um, you can, you know, talk shit about we talk me. about how good we are. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And by the way, I'm present. I'm present. This is on Tuesday before the games have been played. Yeah. Okay. So when we're right, we are legitimately right. Okay. <laughs> we're never wrong. <laughs> yeah. We're never wrong. Exactly, though, yeah. um, our talking points are the 16 teams that qualify. The golden boot winner, underdog story, underperforming team, and the best game from the group. Oh, I can't even call it group. What do you call it now? The league Just stage. The league. Yeah, the league. <laughs> the league season. It's weird saying that, honestly. I, I feel wrong. I, I feel still wrong. haven't come to grips with the whole format. I get, I get it, but I, I just don't get, get it at the get same it, time. But 
There's just too many games to worry about what's yeah. next. Just focus on the game in front. Champs in a Thursday <laughs> night. That's I'm so yeah. off that. The game's gone. Ga- game's Gigas. gone. Too many Champs games. Thursday too night. many games, man. Um, oh, do you want to build up to the? Let's go to the other points. We'll go to the 16 to qualify at the end because I, I okay. think that's a, okay. a highlight. Let's go with the golden boot first. He's the. I've gone boot. pretty boring. Yeah, I think I've, <laughs> I've gone with Harland. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, there was like <laughs> three or four in my head. There was yeah. Harland, Mbappe, Vinny, and. I had a rogue shout. What was your Lamine Yamal to potentially win golden Ooh. boot. Just because Barcelona, like I'll get into my segment later on, but Barca right now, for me, other than City, probably I had the Alvarez, best team in the world. Maybe. Good shout. Mm. Depends how they play the Champions Depends League. Depends how, because Do they turn up yeah. and play well, that attacking football? Yeah. But I feel like yeah, Harlan's going to, like, he's going to bag. Yeah, I, I just, I mean, the way he's doing in the Premier at the minute, it's hard to look past him. Especially with some of the games they've got, he'll score three in 25 yeah. minutes. And there's all supposed to be even games this year with the whole you play 16 or mm. whatever, 17, whatever. They still got some easy draw. Yeah. <laughs> there's somehow exactly, shit yeah. house, some easy draw again. Yeah, they so have. I don't know how they do it. but He'll find a way to batter some team for four goals. Yeah, he will. And that's, that's, that's all he needs. He needs just one game, man. Yeah. And well, you win a golden boot and there'll be eight, yeah. nine goals. In a and obviously with so. Madrid at the moment, it's a bit sort of. Mm. Don't know all what's going on. Yeah, How many pens can they get? Jigging it all together. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think it's pretty slam dunk. Pretty early on. I'll just put out there. My rough would be Yamal. Who'd be your like different next? I'll next I'll say Alvarez is a bit yeah, of a wild like card one. Uh, that's a nice wild card. Yeah. Um, underdog story. I was very excited for this one. Um, I found like the underdog and the underpoint pretty difficult mm. to be honest. I just I don't know if this is even an underdog story. I went with Dortmund again. See. I had them, but I'm like, they made the final last mm. year. So I went with them do. again. Cause I, just because I don't think people expect... No. I think, you know... New coach. Yeah. Yeah. But Sahin, I, I wasn't too sure about him when he was joining, yeah, but they look, they look incredible. They look um, they look very good. I thought the loss of experience would kind of be a big factor, but at mm. the moment, you know, I, I don't see a reason why they can't, they can't go again and yeah. make a deep run. Yeah, no, I totally agree with you. Mm. Um, uh, I was going to go with them, but I, was, I said I'm going to try and left field a lot. And I'm going to go really, really rogue here. I'm going to go with PSV as my <laughs> underdog story. I think they qualify. Nice, yeah, nice. And they might get a round of 16 win. I like that. No, I, I like think that. I'm going to go that far. They have bossed the Netherlands mm. now. Bit like this, And I know it's the Netherlands. Okay, it's funny Netherlands. you say that, yeah. Oh, funny. Okay. I thought it was my underperforming. Oh! <laughs> 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 um, I think this might be a year. Last because the last they did Dortmund in the sixth round of sixteen. Yeah. And so when you think lost. about it, at all the team, and they only just lost to Dortmund, pretty yeah. sure across the two legs. So I think there's a there's a real chance mm. there. And because it's a mm. league, it's a league now. I feel like teams might approach games differently. They might try and yeah. park the bus for a few points and stuff like that. And I just think at home that advantage is going to be quite influential. Mm. I think they're really really strong side. Joey Vernon, like I think they go all right. I think they might get a. They quarter could final do, appearance. Yeah, so that's could. my really rogue mm. underdog shout for me. Well, I went PSV for my underperforming. Like this was because I had like Leipzig in there. I actually was going to put Liverpool. Wow. In a way, yeah. yeah. I just because our games, just because our games are, pretty, it's a pretty it's hard a tough one. Game. It's a tough run. So, but I went with PSV purely based on the fact that if they don't do well, I think it'll tarnish, mm. like. The Dutch league yes, a lot, considering cool, yeah. how dominant they've been. Yeah, like they were unbelievable last year. I think they scored like 110 goals, 91 <laughs> points, something like that. But in Europe, they have like I think they got slapped up by Arsenal a few years ago yeah. in the Europa yeah. League. Even in the Europa League, I don't think they've ever they really done that anyone, well. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I just think if they don't do well, like the, the Dutch league will be like like what, yeah, what's going on here? What's going on here? <laughs> so what are we doing with um. Yeah, I went very sh- different with my performing team. I still think they'll qualify out of the league stages, but I don't know how far they might go. Mm. That's Inter Milan. I was so close to putting that. Because them. <laughs> it's probably ranked them so highly, though, because like, I, I, think it, I think it sort of hurts my view of them, because like, they could go to a quarter final, but I feel like they'd still be under I was performance. so close to putting them. I, I'm just <laughs> so just close. A little worried, obviously, building on what we said prior. Like, Lataro was fantastic last season. Mm. He's going to have that same form. We know he can be up and down. He's going to have that same form this season. Are uh, these older legs going to go again? Yeah. That was that was so good the last two and a half years. Like, ridiculous. Mm. And we're holding them to that steep, like, you know, elite level just below the Man City Real yeah. level. 
that's what that's what like that's sort of why it's underperforming because I held them so high. Yeah, no, same. That if they don't, I mean, we both think they're the third best team in the yeah. world, right? It's, it's it's gotten to a point now that like yeah, if you don't win a quarterfinal tie, is this era or this teams. Mm. It feels expired. like Man City a few years ago when they'd yeah. always like they'd, they'd be the best in the Prem. Yeah, you'd think they're up there with Real Madrid at the time as the best team in the world, mm -hmm. but they just always always just stumble. Court, just and they bring in Ireland and then yeah, and it, is that do they need something else? Yeah. Right? I just yeah, I'm worried about them because mm -hmm. I expect so much of them if they don't get into a quarterfinal yeah. at least. I was, performance on there. I was so close. I was like, I can't do it. We love them too <laughs> I much. I know, I know. We love I, have to, I have to be harsh on them because when I love them, I can love them a lot. <laughs> Tough luck. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, best game. This I've, got, I've got a couple written down here, but I'll, I'll choose one. Okay, yeah, yeah. There's, no, there's you, a you do a lot. I only pick one. You do a lot. You need a chance for you. Uh, I'll, pick, I'll pick the one that I put first, Leverkusen Inter. I think we spoke about this last year, about imagine seeing them <laughs> two, two them up. two come together. I think it, that's going to be... I think it'll be a high one of the. I think it'll be the highest scoring game. You know, in the, you know in the league. Saying, I'm gonna. Yeah, you might yeah be. I think it might be the highest scoring game. Both teams going after it. Both teams just going after it. Their wing backs will probably score a hat trick each because they get that far forward. <laughs> um, yeah, I reckon that's going to be. I'll definitely be watching that. Keep your eyes on that. Sure. 100%. I wouldn't mind a little bit storylines, a little bit of form. I've won best game Barca uh, versus Bayern Munich in match yeah, day nice. two. Yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. Because you've got Hansi Flick. Possibly causing the pain to buy, and yeah. you've got Harry Kane and Vincent Company sign Musiala, Lise mm. coming up and playing, you know, Lamine Yamal, yeah. Lewandowski against his former. Like, it's got all these storylines. Arguably, in terms of form wise, probably the two better teams yep. in world football right now. Yep. Going up head to head in the second week of the league, whatever you want to call it. Like, it's early on, but it's going to mean so much. Like, I was looking at it, if you sort of lose a game, you sort of lose touch. In a like way, if, yeah, you do. It's yeah. In the first three games, if you're dropping points, you feel very far. Mm. It's the way that it all sort of works out. In so. a way, I love this format. Yeah. But I, just, I can't I, accept it. I, but I, 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 love, I it. love it now because like, some of the games are incredible. Gonna be, gonna be but it, obviously, the amount that they're playing. Uh, how is, am I going to track every single yeah. game? <laughs> Six games every night or for three incredible. nights in the middle of the week. But yeah, uh, that will be... I think the storylines speak for themselves. Yeah. The big names, the heavy hitters. Yeah. That's going to be an absolutely... Mm. Be a heavy great game. Type. I had that one. That was one of the <laughs> ones I had. Yeah, yeah, that's and a it's and Bayern. I feel it's always a good game. Yeah, those always. Two. Like, even so when they're even not. It's I mean, we saw the, the what the seven two eight, in the eight, eight two seven two whatever it was. Yeah, yeah. It's time for revenge, Ramsey. Time for revenge. Do the reverse. Yeah. Um. Alrighty. Let's go. The sixteen teams to qualify. Now we didn't do orders because we're not psychotic. That would be crazy. That would be too much for me to handle. Um. I think I just wrote mine in alphabetical order. I just went through the table and picked 16. I just picked 16. Yeah. Um, Do you want me to like list like one by one and then if you have it, just say... Yeah, we can copy. Well. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Right. Let's go. So I've got Real Madrid. Yep. Man City. Yep. Bayern Munich. Yep. PSG. Yep. Liverpool. Yep. Inter. Yep. Dortmund. Yep. Barca. Yep. Leverkusen. Yep. Atletico Madrid. Yes. Arsenal. Yes. Juventus. Yep. Leipzig. Yep. Yep. Villa. Yep. <laughs> AC Milan. Yep. Sporting. Do you no. have PSV? PSV. Yeah, PSV. That's, that's where I Again, had. I was tossing up. I was the tossing clubs. between it's them. Clubs, <laughs> yeah, I was tossing between them. I was tossing them. back and forth. Yeah. <laughs> so Milan, Arsenal, Villa, Atleti, Barcelona, Leverkusen, Bayern, Dortmund, Inter, Juve, Liverpool, Man City, PSG, PSV. Leipzig and Real. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, basically the same besides one. Yeah. I like it. Actually, sporting <laughs> a team, man. Sporting a That's the thing. Like, and they there. always find... John in Perez. terms of they always get... I feel like they always get to the sort of... Round, well, they, used to be round of 16. Yeah, they, they, they manage their way through. And they're, they're, um, their jaw's not too bad. Yeah, I, I don't think. I look at a few of them. Well, PSV and Sporting play each other. And that's one yeah. of the games I had for best game. It was like cause they both like, dominated their leagues yeah. last year. And they're dominating both their legs Too this year. Two good coaches, yeah. I don't think Sporting yeah. is sporting conceded you know. either. Or maybe conceded one or two. Yeah. They're both, they're both killing it again. So Sporting 19 goals in yeah. five games. And Giocaros has about 15 <laughs> and contributions as well. Yeah, they're cooking. They're, 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 they're a team. How no one went... I think in January someone's got to go for him. Because he's backing it up now. Again, it's not I, just I one said it in the transfer. They a radio song on him. Like, what? Mm. Why was no one else in for him? I mean, they were less cool. I think it was 100 mil, but... I mean, Surely you beat it. Yeah, he was, yeah. Surely just bid and, and see how 
How hard? He won't, he'll surely want to go to a big, big oh, club. Oh, surely, surely. But he's been killing it. That's, he a, has, he that's has. a very valid shout. He's been very good. So it might come down to whose team makes it in. Oh. I feel like <laughs> it's the thing with the sixteen because you get the second sort of chance. So eight go through, right? Yeah, it's and hard. It's Sixteen to twenty-four playoff in like a <clears throat> round of thirty-two clash. Mm. But it's in one it's one legged. I think it's one legged. Yeah, I think. So <laughs> I haven't I haven't got yeah that I haven't, far I've yet. gone that far yet. <laughs> but technically, then all the big teams should go. They through. should because yeah. if you bottle the league, as long as you're still close enough, you still should beat That's your. That's the thing. You should still beat like. The way obviously you look at like the pot two, yeah. pot one, pot yeah. two, they have first, and then the last four games are pot three, pot mm. four. You look at them, you're like, Barca shouldn't lose to, yeah. you know, Brest or you know, like you Brest know what I mean? Bo- yeah, yeah, bottom of their league, like Mars yeah. can smash. Brest, yeah, exactly. You know, so. Go ahead, Eagles, man. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, I was trying to like, like spread it out a bit, but like you, you just can't. Like they, they all should go through. Yeah, I looked at it, like, and the difference in class is a lot. Yeah. Especially with some of the teams that have walked their way into this league, man. I'm not sure some of these teams ever existed yeah, no. a month ago. <laughs> no, no clue. <laughs> Until I read the no list clue, every yeah. time. Oh, okay, they, they exist. Yeah. But there we go. <clears throat> uh, that's interesting. Pretty yeah. good. Very similar. Pretty, very similar, yeah. So both have Erling Haaland. Yep. It interesting reminds me of PSV versus that's Sporting. That, like that, yeah, that's the deciding that factor. Literally, yeah. If PSV Cook, I'm killing it. If Sporting Cook and PSV Choke, then you're on top of the description. <laughs> and we'll come back to this in the, we'll come back to in this the knockouts. We finally do it. Like I make, we can just predict the whole bracket. Yeah, we can. But you know what the hell is going on. Yeah, because yeah. God, eight games from now and 36 teams on how it's going to work. <laughs> yeah, no, how are we going to do this, man? <laughs> Watch Real finish bottom. <laughs> just knowing the way this thing yeah, works. Probably, I, I, yeah. I have no idea. Some like random will finish top. Like Celtic or something. Right. Celtic top of the league, man. Celtic top of the league, yeah. Home ground advantage. Red Star. <laughs> Red oh, Star. Away to Red Star is a tough one. It, it is actually tough. Half yeah. away to <laughs> tell you what. Um... And we will not be doing Europa League predictions, so thank God for that. <laughs> we'll speak about it. Well, well I, I mean, prefer not. we'll try I not to. Not. Hey, I, hey, I had to last year. I know. <laughs> Anthony, mate. <laughs> Anthony Casemiro, boy. Yeah. Um, all right, let's quickly dump it to Barca before we get our next big segment. Yep. This is this is real now. This is like this is legit. The Hansi yeah. Flick effect. There's no more pre-game outfits. Mm. I just saw something about Yusuf Kunde hitting like bench press and squats after their four-one win. Yeah. Like he's got that that brain. Hansi Flick's got that brain drilled to every single Barca player. Mm. I'm seeing um, uh, Garvey's back in training again. Yeah, he's but they lose Danny Olmo. He's Danny Olmo. He might be back in training tomorrow, but I'll see yeah. the way they operate now with Hansi Flick. But it's good to see some players are coming back. Obviously, a big loss, Daniel. That's huge. But he's been, yeah, he's been incredible. So it's looking dangerous on the pitch, but <laughs> because what we know about Hansi Flick and what I see him having, happening off the pitch, mm-hmm. I'm thinking, boy, 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 we're in for a they, yeah, they are one hell of a season. They might be closer than mm. than we thought to winning it. I mean, they are very impressive at the minute. They've had a couple of sort of lucky results. The Valencia one sticks out where they probably yeah. should have been two 0 down. They had a 17 year olds in midfield but the fact that they won that game <clears throat> I think it's given them so much confidence and I think all four goals that they scored five goals they scored against Jarrett was it four four, four goals also, yeah, four yeah. were ridiculous mm. I mean both Lamine goals are just incredible pick that out um, <laughs> yeah literally pick that out the second one is just like everyone just stands there and it's oh, such a good finish mm. uh, the Danny Olmo one oh, is God. just five a goal from the weekend oh, probably that's me. incredible isn't it? the <laughs> it's angle nice. it's Hit per- I think my favorite goal is the last one. The ball from Fermin is. Was it, could, it was a Casado. Or was it? Or was it Casado? It was Casado. Was it Casado? Like, Cass- yeah. That pass. That ball. You could, you could hear the crowd as well. Yeah, go like whoa, <laughs> and the the touch from Pedri and oh, and the, it was it was. Oh, Delicious. I just loved it. it I absolutely football. loved it. So it's one of those passes where very few. I think it was pick that out. I think it was actually. Yeah, well, yeah, Casado. Yeah. Casado. Very few players. That was like De Bruyne yeah. level. Like that was. Serious. I said so. written down that was like Iniesta from Casado. Yeah, yeah, that you, was you, incredible. Your La Masia yeah. talent. So yeah. it's, it's it's funny because you think flick, you think organisation, <clears> think <throat> not too much creative freedom, but it's still got that bass on a flair to it. Press like crazy. Oh, well, Lamine gets the goal from the first goal yeah. from the press. Like it's it's annoying from Girona point of view. Oh yeah, and I tell you what, <laughs> it sounds ridiculous. Four four one loss, <laughs> but they weren't like. It wasn't like Ireland for the first goal, they were poor. It was they, just a yeah. bass when they were just Basel ridiculous. Just ridiculous. The goals were just ridiculous. Like You're not stopping that third one. You're not stopping the fourth one. Yeah. The first one is only one preventable and the second mm. one's just unlucky. Like, like in the build-up, maybe you can do some, 
some things differently besides probably the last goal because mm. the pass was that good. Like the second one, like Lamine just left free on the edge of the box, which is a bit stupid. Um, the first one just just moved the ball. Yeah, um, release. Yeah, and then obviously the third one's just a great run and a great finish. So I think Girona Day can't think too much about it. It's mm. just you come against a red hot Barca with s- some of the best Ridiculous players in the world at the player. minute. Like Jesus, is Lamine the best player in the world right now? I mean, I didn't even have him top ten like two weeks ago, so I'm a fraud. So <laughs> yeah. I forgot the are born of that. So it's all, it's all, yeah, it's all, it's all out, even right? out. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you what, mate. On form, yeah. I mean, he's just won the Euros. He was one of the best players at the Euros. He's got to be in the conversation, right? He has seven goal contributions already this season yeah. from four games. He's got to be in the conversation. I mean, it's, it's, and the fact that Rafinha now is like I mean, he's, he's He's the best right winger in the world at the minute. So. Got to oh, be. Yeah. Got to be. He's just crazy. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. I just don't know how you stop Bass right now. Considering the level of Saka, Salah. Yeah. You know, yeah. It's, it's ridiculous. ridiculous. Rodrigo and all the Rodrigo, other Rodrigo, yeah. Keep going on and on and on. He's, yeah, he's a freak. And they are seriously cooking. They're just, oh, yeah, I guess, as you said, they press now. Um, and they're defending they've got shape. so well. Yeah, they've got shape again. Yeah. It's like, it's compact what it needs to be. It's just like... Last season, you could get at them by just breaking, like get on the break mm. or make, wait for them to make a mistake. Uh, it feels like that two seasons ago where, like, how do you beat this team? Because they're creative. They've got they're still creative spark and flair, the one-touch passing. Yep. They've got Hansi Flick's defensive identity and the pressing yep. and the organisation and the compact, narrow nature. And it's like, well, you've got the best of both worlds. So how the hell do you... Literally, yeah. So Arejo's not even playing. Not playing. Firmin hasn't even... No, hasn't you know, barely set foot on the pitch. Exactly. Like, it's... <laughs> Crazy, they they are. <laughs> all of a sudden, it's you know, it's despite all the financial problems yeah. with registering players taking years to do that, and you know all the financial mm. difficulty, they are on the pitch. It's they're, they're unbelievable, it's ridiculous right now. I can't wait for the classic. I don't know when the classic is, but that's going to be yeah, that's going to be incredible. Surely, it's who, close. who would you back at, at, at the, the market? Moment? Barca. Yeah, they're just so like just dangerous. It's not for a while, it looks like. It probably helps. Yeah, first one's at Madrid on the 27th of October. So that could actually give Madrid time just to mm, warm up. On, and that is in one of the great old classic I mean, The difference is Lamine at the minute. I mean, the guy is, is the guy's a joke. The guy is a joke, so, yeah. You can't give him half an inch. Yeah, no. You've got to be touch tight. Yeah, no. But then if you're touch tight, you can skip part. But, like, if you give him any chance in his head up, he'll pick a pass. Mm. And I remember people like a few months ago when he first started to burst on the scene, like Michael Richards. Um, From the, guy <laughs> the great Michael Richards. Um, like people saying, oh, he lacks that end product. And it was like, the kid's 16. Yeah. Like now, like, man, he's he doesn't miss. <laughs> he does not miss. I think there's a bit of a misconception around the main. He did she carry them still last yeah, season. Yeah, exactly. But people don't, yeah. I, think, I think it's almost like the English, yeah, the old English tax or like what Premier League tax where yeah, totally. people were like, like he's not as good as some of like, the Premier League wingers. I'm like, man, like he was quite like a weldies to save the yeah. points away to Salter on this last season. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Salter, like, yeah. There was three or four times last year where he's like, wait, how's he done that? Like, how's he? Yeah. And again, one of those players is so left footed, but you can't stop it's, it. Like, it can't, he's going too, to too his quick, left, yeah. but you can't, you can't get it. It's too quick. It's, it's too just quick. ridiculous. I did see a funny, funny, an interesting post that if I said, if Hansi Flick can also revitalize Anzu Fatty and make him relevant again. Oh my God. Can you imagine those two on the flanks? Do you imagine? Like the yeah, get Ferran out of there. Yeah. there. He's bro. <laughs> First time to go. He, he is the outlier in that team. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> Even Rafinha's <laughs> cooking again now. Yeah, like, he's like, yeah he's having a great season. Um, like, Lewandowski. Lewandowski looks 20 season. again. And he's bagging goals of fun. Yeah. I think if he can get <laughs> Ansu Fati back to like, what was it, 2018, man. whatever it was, 2019. Well, it was like oh ages God, ago. Yeah. But if he stays fit and on the pitch again. Lean in on the right. If there's someone that can do it, you hunt for I feel just, I don't, I don't know where, I don't think even had Dante Flick on the list last year. Well, he wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't a manager, but he I feel wasn't. like we should, looking back at it, we should have just had him there. Maybe, because, yeah. What the fuck? Because <laughs> I guess Germany, it didn't end well there. Yeah, no. but but that was the strange, end of an era kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, I think it was just a strange time. Yeah. It just, it was, it was a terrible time made. to manage mm. Germany. You put anyone in charge, and I don't think would have failed anyway. Yeah. But he's, he's revitalized that image again. Just clean that slate up. Serious team at the minute. Uh, serious. Oh, another team that's kicking, kicking to gear. Atletico Madrid. Mm. Just want to touch on because I guess the 
two new faces score. Alvarez gets his first. Yep. Gallagher, Gallagher gets his first. Good. Gallagher looks great he looks in this team. He looks very good, yeah. Rodrigo De Paul and him in midfield mm. might be... You talk about Champions League. That might be a really that's, that's good champ. Simeone. <laughs> that's just Simeone is going to... Work They're going to turn into the nastiest <laughs> pairing. Gallagher's known as this like nice player. He's going to turn into an asshole. I think he's an American. <laughs> He's gonna <laughs> he's gonna be doing these Brexit tackles <laughs> out of nowhere, but um yeah they they were pretty good as bad as Valencia have been. I'm about to say that's Jesus. the other point. How bad did Valencia get here before it's like crisis talks? Oh, were? Oh, I think crisis talks begin now. They look shocking. They haven't gone near any game yet. Oh, they just yeah. It's, besides the the Barca one, I can't believe they almost could have won. Yeah, but yeah. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Mamadash Vili will want to go to Liverpool now. Yeah, I think. Yeah, Jesus. Get me out of here. Just, I'll, I'll be second choice. But I don't care. Just Third get me out of here. Yeah. But yeah, they um, that's yeah, it's shocking for them. If they were to get relegated, oh. be a big club to get relegated. Because we always say Sevilla's been knocking around that place, but they've always yeah. been safe. Yeah. Valencia's like in in there. They're not. They're not looking like they're getting out there anytime soon. I'm so. I know Sevilla aren't doing great. I was going to go Valencia as my surprise. Oh, it's I'm lucky you so didn't. <laughs> lucky I didn't do that. <laughs> so surprise lucky. being shit. That's just, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's how surprise. I could, I could have turned it like that. Been yeah, that yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's, they, a, yeah. it's a story, man. Because they're, I mean, they're, they're they champions. They haven't got a point. I don't no. They, yeah, no. It's, yeah, you're right. If Barcelona was going again, they went close. That's like that. I can't remember. I, I don't think they've been in a game. Really impressive. Like they haven't really impressed at any game. Girona yeah. pieced them apart. Yeah, tr- yeah prior yeah, to Jerome that. Did. It's just like, yeah, I don't know with them. It's alarm, it's alarm bells. That's for sure. Big time. Ringing big, big time. time. Mm. And Fred left you, I tell you what, like, we hope for a three horse race. I think we might get it. I think they, yeah, they, they're um, looking much, much better every week. And the improvement week to week is not just little, it's. No, it's like. Big, it's been, yeah. And it's going forward. I think defensively, that should be okay. It's mm. the only ball. You Even can trust like, them. Saul still looks good. I know he's missed a mm. decent amount of chances, yeah. but he'll get there. Um, he's involved. Alvarez as well, he'll get more involved. So. Yeah. Griezmann's yeah, looking, looking good. good again. Yeah, Griezmann looked... Start looked, seasons off very, he very does, well. He does, yeah, he does. Can he... Can he keep that keep, level? Yeah. We'll see. If Go he on. does, I think they they could be a, a sneaky. They're a part for, of it. For both the league and... That front three. Like, it's just like... Griezmann, Solov and Alvarez. Like, it should work. It's a good Suffer. front three, yeah. There's goals there. Yep. There's definitely goals there. Are they good enough defensively for long enough? Yeah. Yeah, didn't, will they have those brain phase? They just mm. lose it. That's the question. Yep. Um, on that... Let's go to our next big segment of the week. Going to the top 10 <coughs> clubs power rankings wise. Yep. That word, because it can never really be wrong with power, yeah, rankings. power rankings. Power ranking changes week to week. Um, let's see how this one is. How I've have been, you done this? I've been pretty reactionary. Okay. Pretty I did a bit react. on last season's performance I tried and to, their start to this season. Yeah, I tried to do a little bit of last season, but I'll be honest, I've been pretty <clears> yeah. reactionary. But we'll see, we'll see how like it all, like all lines up. Um, I'll look at stuff this time around. Okay. I'll go in 10th. A team is doing very well this season after a poor last season. I've got Newcastle in 10th. Oh, wow. Still unbeaten. I was looking Ooh. at some of the teams uh, in the Bundesliga. I think I maxed out with those clubs I went in there. Yep. Um, going to La Liga, couldn't. I think that would be better than the other teams. I thought we'd be close. I got a fair chunk um, of informed clubs in Syria. Again, a big boy has to miss this list. Yeah, I know. Damn. Um, but Newcastle was sneaking in 10th for me. A like big that. boy's missed. That's what I, 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 like, I like that. I like that. I've, I've tried to... I've given like some other leagues a bit of credit. So number fair 10, play. I went with Sporting. Wisdom. Yeah, fair play, fair play. I, it was a toss-up between them and PSV. I think mm-hmm. PSV got one more point than them. 90 and 91 points. Um, both dominated their, their league last year and have started off well yeah. this year. But I just think the Portuguese leagues are just a bit harder. Yeah. Than the Eredivisie. Yeah, so, that's fair enough. Yeah. Very cool. Um, number nine, I've got a Syria. I've got a Juve. Number nine. Oh god. I've got, I've got a Malo. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm I'm swinging All some right. I'm swinging some axes Damn, here. I'm that's swinging some axes here. I've got them very low. Uh, uh, okay. Um, what do you have them? No, I don't have them. You have them. I don't have them. No. Oh. I would, so, I, I've gone and different list, mate. Different list. Finally, it's been a long Did time. <laughs> First time, time ever. Um. I like their start, like their squad. Yeah. Maybe the manager tax in there as well. Yeah, I mean, it's, but it's when a you good think, reason. He's, yeah, yeah, when you think they still won a trophy last year, I don't know how <clears> bad they were, they still came third or second or whatever. So a little bit last year. They won a trophy. They, they started the season <laughs> up pretty well. So I got them ninth. I thought that was quite low for them considering how they've 
I was just mm. saying that all the teams above are ridiculous. But yeah, that's what I've gone with. I've gone UV. I got that one trophy, maybe. Mm. <laughs> maybe I should have had them in. You give them more to the, to the smaller teams. I respect yeah. that, though. Uh, ninth, I went PSG. <clears throat> Oh, one I have PSG. I did go for <laughs> I knew I missed some goal. I was going for the call I missed. I, like, <laughs> I did go PSG. Um, still a good year last year. Oh, Farmers um, League. I know it's, you know, Farmers League and all that. They win the league every year. Cooking, but cooking. still they're cooking. They've had a great start this year. Um, and yeah, I just think they're, they're a good start at the minute. Good start yeah. in the league. Absolutely. So, Champions League footy. Back, I mean, mm. oh, yeah, that's a really good because they actually been quite underrated this season. Um, I went Dortmund. Okay. Good start to the year. Very, actually, very good start to the year. Probably a bit harsh considering how well they started the year. Especially under Sahin, who we thought... Yeah, no, I don't know yeah. if he actually... I don't think he's actually managed anywhere else. I, yeah. I, I think this I, is I, his this first is managerial play. job. And he's cooking with him. Garassi yeah. starts his first, first game, game on the, yeah, yeah, the yeah. weekend. We'll get into that game a little bit, but Adiemi looked fantastic. <laughs> Pascal Gross is one of the great signings of the summer as well. He looks like he was meant to. He's been there for like 15 years. They've probably years. got two or three of those with um, like, Anton and... Anton. And Kuto doesn't even start. He, he comes off the bench. Rearson's yeah. been good to start the season off. Yep. It's just like, I can see why this team made a Champions League final. Like, it just yeah. makes sense. Yeah. I just think we're all heavily... Under- and I probably underrate them on the list as well. I feel like I've been really harsh on these guys. But I think the sky's the limit this season on this, this team. Yeah, they start the off well, beat the top of the table side and hide and hide and start the season off. Yep. Goals... Defensively mm. good as well. The only two goals can see this season, so I've got them at number eight for I the like time that. being. Uh, my eight is controversial. Is Arsenal? We you you'll that. see. I'll, I'll explain okay, yeah, it I'll why like it. I've put them this low. But like they're a great team. I mean, they've been great for the past two years. They've started off the season well. It's just the fact that they haven't they didn't win anything last year. They probably mm. should have. They haven't gone. They haven't even reached a semi final yet of a domestic yeah, yeah. cup. That's so true. Um, and the teams I've got ahead have just have just been just more successful. They're they're probably better as well because I, generally I'll explain why I just yeah I butchered I it. I, yeah, that's, that's, you convinced me. I absolutely butchered my list now. Fair enough. You've nailed yeah. that. You've nailed that in the head. <laughs> um, gee, that makes one look shit. <laughs> uh, um, I'm staying on the inter hate club, so I went into seventh. Wow. Into seven, into seven. Mate, I've, I've, I've fallen off the team. Yeah, yeah. The, it, this international break is out. I just, I just, I just, I just, I just, I just, <laughs> again, all the teams above, yeah, including Arsenal, <laughs> have, I think, started the off better. Yep, and have all won <clears> something or yeah, competed something. And again, I went with a, rea- a very reactionary list, and I think out of all the clubs ahead, um, who have all been relatively successful, other than Arsenal, <laughs> they're probably the weakest starters for me. Yeah, I no, don't rate it, and it could, it could change yeah. by the end of this week with the Champions League because we haven't seen them play a, a real big, big boy. I feel yeah, like, no, yeah. and if you beat a big boy, I instantly think you're a top, top staff. But yeah. I'm just not convinced as of yet. So yeah, no, that's I've fair liked him in seventh for that's me. Fair enough. My seventh is Bayern. Yeah. Now probably had a worse season than Arsenal, but mm. obviously they beat Arsenal in the Champions yeah, League. Makes sense. Still made it further and finished third, which you know second, third, it's pretty much the same thing. Mm. Besides a bit, a bit more money. Yeah. Second. Um, and again, they've had a, a great start, start to the season. They're sitting top. So <laughs> yeah. for me, they go above Arsenal. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, <clears throat> Gene, I'm, I'm really missed with this list. <laughs> Six. Man Six. United. <laughs> I couldn't lev- I couldn't lev- 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 never losing it at Six. Oh, wow. Because I've lost. Okay. They've okay. lost the game. No, this they, season. they have. They're not they're, never losing anymore. They're looking better and better each week. But right yeah. now, in terms of the form and the. Other than everyone, other than Verts, they've all, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they've yeah. all had a shaky Literally, start yeah. of the season. And Boniface, so. maybe. And, and, yeah, yeah, Boniface, Verts, and Jack. The, the, the spine, yeah. they looked very, very good. The rest have all been like waking up so, which makes sense. They won every single game last yeah. year. So I say that, but they've been, again, one of the slower starters of those winning sides last mm. season. Um, so I've whacked him in at six. Yep, fair enough. Right. My six is Dortmund. Yeah, great start to the yeah. season. Last year, got to a Champions League final, and it, they beat the champions of Italy and beat um, uh, PSG. PSG, yeah. So, for me, I know they weren't great in the Bundesliga, but still got Champions League football. Got to the final of the Champions League. Mm. So I'd consider that great start as well. Better than than Bayern and Arsenal, I guess. Absolutely. So, yeah. um, my five is Bayern Munich. Okay, yeah. So nice, nice. still higher. <laughs> <laughs> um, Company's uh, won you over, right? He's won me 
Well, not him. I think the players are <laughs> playing. The players are playing <laughs> the very players, well. Yeah. Kane and Muziala cooking. Yeah. Elise is there cooking as well, which I love to see. Yeah. Kimmich is pun like yeah, well again as Helenia well. was good against. I know they weren't versing much on the weekend, but um, I tell you, it was still, still six good. goals. So yeah, yeah. They're, they're doing what they have to do. They're top of the league. Yep. I didn't think they'd be top this year in the season. I thought it'd take a while to kick into gear. So I'm sort of giving them that as well. Yeah. And they didn't make a semi final for Champions League last season. Yeah. As much yep. as how bad it was, it's still Champions League semi finals yeah, there. Fair enough. Number five for me. My five is Barcel. Sort of the best of yeah of the rest that weren't the champions at the moment. I think. Mm. Um. I mean, absolutely cooking this season. Um, so many good players in that team, and um, still managed to finish sec- uh, second last year. I believe. Yeah, yeah, second. I, was, I thought Girona. I was like, no, Girona did fall away in the end, <laughs> but um, still finished second last year. Didn't really go too far in the Champions League, but um, yeah, this year they're yeah. they're probably the most informed team in the world. Yeah. So I think they had to be pretty high. Yeah. After that, very seriously with Barca. Um, yeah. I went Real fourth. Again, Holy. they're the best team, but currently, wow. for me, they're struggling. Okay. So I've got them in fourth. <laughs> so wow, this is so different. So that means Arsenal <laughs> is higher, get it? <laughs> they are so different. No, no, no. I love Real. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, absolutely yeah, love absolutely. But right yeah. now, as we speak here on the 17th of September, yep. it's, it is giving penalties Real Madrid sort of, that's and, and that's sort of where I see that. Man. Again, I've been very, and I've, all my lists are like, I've literally taken, as of today, reactionary type stuff. Yeah. But, man, it's a tough watch. <laughs> it's yeah. really tough yeah. to watch them games. Yeah. So, that's why I've got them there. Again, they win two champs, eight games, all of a sudden they probably fly back to, up to number one. But, yeah. again, a few injuries put you hurting them, like the Brahim Diaz injuries. Yeah, that's a big one. Sure, many missing. And, like, did, you, did Mendy get injured? I think he might have been of a knock. Yeah. yeah. And obviously, Drew's just coming back to the Champions back, League yeah. game. So, obviously, it's all over the place. And it's Ancelotti. Like, on paper, I take the number one. Yeah. But Ryan, and in terms of a power ranking, form based, recency based, number four for me. That's fair enough. Uh, valid? Valid? Uh, my four is Leverkusen. Yeah. Still sticking with them. I mean, they, <laughs> they were invincible last year. <laughs> I'm not going to give up on them after you know, <laughs> four, four games. So, <laughs> um, oh, yeah, got them fourth. Um, Almost won the treble. Still won two trophies last mm. year. Still start off the season fine. Yeah. I guess they're still kicking into gear. But, um, yeah, I, I just think last year, I, I think it's just a lot of credit in the bank for me. Wacky How good they were last Jamie year. Alonso. And they're still playing really well. So. Top three already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like it's not, but it's yeah, top three already. Yeah. Um, they went Arsenal. But I didn't put them above the, the, yeah. the two other teams. I didn't put them above <laughs> the two teams. No, I put Arsenal third. Yeah. It's been it burns, but they are good. They and are very good. And this is on the back of the weekend. They won with that, for me, yeah. their most important player, Rice. Or Sackle, but Sackle mm. their most important. But like, in terms of build-up play, Rice is so important. They yeah. don't have him. They're still beating Tottenham. They're supposed to be, you know, <clears throat> Ange Ball, second season. Yeah. He always wins titles, yep. he says. Hang on, yeah. And they still won out there. Pretty comfortable As Flynn as said, well. a, a classic, yeah, a classic 1-0 to the Arsenal. Like, yeah. just get the goal, defend. Mm. I'm like, you know what? I haven't seen that side of you guys yet. Man City have that side of their game. That's mm. what got them all the way to winning a Champions League two years ago. I'm, I'm like what I'm saying from mm. Arsenal. I, I like hope people get why I've put them eighth as well. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> you, we've explained our list. Yeah. We've gone yeah. about different ways. And that's yeah. what we love here on the list. Uh, my three. three is Inter. Yeah. I've got Inter. Cheek. Still, <laughs> still, <laughs> mate, <laughs> mate. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not giving up on them, mate. He's not done yet. <laughs> I'm not done yet. Um, yeah. Smashed Serie A last year. Broke. All kinds of records and records. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I still back them in for a big Champions League campaign. I, I just hope they this squad deserves to have and some Champions League success. Yeah. Um, so still doing well in, in the league this year. Not the ideal start, but still. I mean, I still haven't lost. I've just drawn a, a couple of, yeah. of tough games. Palmer, you know, we've spoken about. They look pretty Dangerous. impressive. Yeah. And Mons have, have done that against a couple of other big teams. So, yeah. Not giving up on them just yet. Not yet. He's still, that, yet. He's still in that bus. Oh, yeah. He's still behind <laughs> his like, um, My two, which is the reason that I made this segment, was Barcelona. Yeah. Right yeah. now, in terms of the world best form for oh, oh, probably, probably one and two. Yeah. One and two for me, I'll probably Bamman one and two in City, terms of yeah. form wise. Um, yep. Goals are like, Lamine's probably the best player in the world right now. Mm. And Dossi's back at his best form. I'm loving the likes of Casado and Kubasi and all these players that come through and you're like, where, how, were they? You, Where were they a month ago? But how the but, hell yeah. do you keep finding this guy? And they're ridiculous. Mm. And you're missing Garvey. And you're missing Fermin. And, you know, uh, De Jong's 
back to some of his better performances. I mm. think for me, Pedri coming back and instantly making an impact. Like just, yep. I'm like, how? And you're still without a Rojo. And yeah, yeah. Like, you don't really have any depth at fullback, but you're still, you're still, still cooking. Yep. And I'm like, wow. Like, I, I don't know how to explain him right now. Just Hansi Flick just breathes winning. Mm. He just he loves winning and his players love winning, obviously. <clears throat> It's yep. working right now, so they're number two for me. Hundred percent. My number two is Man City. Wait, I didn't know it's um, yeah. I mean, just what's the same Man City? Ridiculous team. Um, it's not as Premier League champions guys. three times in a row, four times in a row, however long it's been. I don't even know. They, they just always win it, so we'll just say that. It's like seven out of eight. I yeah, said the seven thing, out of eight. Seven out of eight. Um, <laughs> well, I'm assuming they'll go close to winning the Champions League this year as well. Um, yeah, it's just a team that's number one. It's just the reigning. Just the greats. The greats, the, the Galacticos. So. Hey, 115 though. Yeah. 115. <laughs> By the way, I'm talking about Nottingham Forest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the greats. <laughs> the greats. <laughs> yeah, and no, I went Man City number one. Yeah. I'm sure there's a documentary being written about this season. I'm, I'm, I'm putting... About this season? On, oh, with I reckon Pep yeah. goes, um, De Bruyne goes... Yeah. Well, we already got the, the treble one. Maybe Banana Silver. I just feel like there's something cooking here. It has to be, yeah. Because <laughs> the, the way they start the season off on fire. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Because the, they always start yeah. slow, yeah. They peaked all year round March. <laughs> yeah, no, hopefully that's when, <laughs> they, you, hopefully that's when they fall off the cliff. cliff. <laughs> they, they've <laughs> done the reverse. And I'm like, wait, wait, what's, what's going on here? And like, yeah. I said in that Chelsea game, I'm seeing like Bernardo Silva press. Like when does when that guy have a press in his life? Like, that's when I know yeah, someone's no. cooking here at this club. Like, I don't know what's going on. Like, the Netflix documentary better go off, is what I'm going to say. Like, well, these guys coming out be after every game, internationals complaining about how many fixes yeah. they are. And they're pressing, and they're pressing from the front. Like, yeah. some, something sketchy is going on here. There, there is, there is, they know they're getting charged, and they're like, yeah. all right, lads, we'll give it our all. Yeah. Before. Or it's the yeah, Netflix documentary. Yeah. There's an, so. or maybe maybe all at once. Maybe there's a Netflix documentary <laughs> yeah. written about the Pep's last season and De Bruyne's last season. How are you supposed to beat this team? Like, just, uh, this is no point. Yeah, and Haaland's going to break a hundred goals in a year. The way he's going. What? What did? Didn't I, Flynn say something? So he's, he's on track for eighty nine, and Flynn said he'd do fifty goals this yeah, season. That's I like that. That's, and he that's put on records here. Said okay, we'll, we'll bring that quote back up. It's, it's probably going to happen. So fair play, Flynn. That's, yeah, he's called it, and he yeah. might know. He he said. Oh, he said he might be Messi's goal. Didn't Messi season. get like 84 or something? Yeah, something yeah. Ridiculous. But you know <laughs> what? I mean, Haaland's on track for 89 of the He prep. might need a few more assists, so. <laughs> Just to uh, up the goal and assist. Right? <laughs> yeah, he's going to get 88 goals and one assist. <laughs> <laughs> Working one assist. Yeah. Savio Tapping, yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> no, I have them one just because yeah, yeah. they're nuts. I'm, I'm sure. This is my quote then. Flynn, Flynn's got a statistical quote. My quote is, there will be a, a documentary coming out maybe in five years' time. Yeah. About the last happened. dance vibes, yeah. This is yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, they'll get relegated to League Two. <laughs> De Bruyne leaves. Did they know back then that there was a documentary being filmed for the Bulls? Did they know that last season? Surely not, yeah. Oh, I'm, uh, like just the public, like you, they, nah, no, surely not. Surely not. yeah, no, but it, maybe that makes it maybe there is someone just you know, the, cam, the cameras maybe a physio. Shove it to the yeah. chest. Yeah. Well, Scott Carson. Yeah, he, Scott Carson. He's secretly Scott Carson on Netflix. Is the producer. Yeah. <laughs> he's the producer. He's there. There's, yeah. there's got to be a reason he's there. It can't just be team morale. And, yeah. And, 30 and, grand a week. And experience. Because yeah. the entire squad, the squad's won everything. Why do you need experience? What experience do you yeah, need? Yeah, Scott Carson. Bring through a young kid from <laughs> Ecuador. Yeah, you yeah. Know, Give a kid a chance for some trophies. Yeah. Right? Give someone a chance. But no, they're, they're, <laughs> they're my number one team. Yeah. For the, for the Netflix docker, number yeah. one. For the Netflix docker. Yeah, and then I got Madrid. Obviously. The Galacticos. The Galacticos. They're gonna cook. Well, they're still got. Who's sorry for still got? It's gonna get. That's gonna get bad. Yeah, I feel sorry for them. That could be. Um, Champions League bullies the German clubs. They had Union Berlin first game last year, and they battered yeah, them. Yeah, they battered them. <laughs> I think no matter who Union Berlin faced, they were oh, gonna, gonna go down anyway. Yeah. When, yeah, they could have asked fucking Rangers or St- Sturm Graz, whatever they call. Yeah. They could have yeah, asked this them. This was made up team. They didn't vote you. They've they've had to have made up some of these teams. I'm oh, sure. They're, they're, they're this, um, it's they're a social just, experiment. They're, they're just testing what the hell yeah. everyone's called the 36 <laughs> team yeah. league stage. They just give them all to Man City. There you go, lads. There's your fixtures. You take them. You take them. Yeah. <laughs> Harland has some more goals. My house. Yeah, goals. exactly. There you go. There's our uh, <laughs> ten. Power rankings, top ten clubs. So you've done very like based on this season reactionary, um, and I've done the weekend action. I think I very much accounted last season. Because all you got every champion in the top five, yeah. Uh, well, I got Other Real Madrid. Sporting, so. Yeah, yeah. So I've got the champions, and then I've got kind of the best of the rest. Yeah. Well, I got PSG ninth, and then Sporting tenth. Yeah. But fake, yeah, fake title PSG. <laughs> I can't have got PSG. I actually rate PSG as well. The same. I actually do like PSG. Yeah. That, that's that's a. 
No, no, too Newcastle. Newcastle, Newcastle, Newcastle was a surprise I'm not going to lie. No, because I'm also <laughs> very harsh. And I'm like, if you, you always watch a Monday show, I've been on their back a little bit because they've been playing mid, but mm. they keep winning. And Juve. I, too far, I forgot they won a trophy. They might have gone in at 10th, but I probably still would have had sporting just to kind of... To be, you know, to, to yeah, be a bit bring the knowledge for, yeah, for, exactly. for the Thursday show. Yeah, no, I, I, no, I respect that. I need to get back to my roots. <laughs> I need to find some more slip cards around the world and, and put them in there. Hey, we got um, oh, Udinese. There you go. You can you them watch them, yeah, mate. I'll whack them in next week. While you're okay. recording, just have I'll all find, the Udinese games. I'll find mm-hmm. a list to fit in today's top 10 uh, underestimated comeback yeah, stories. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Udinese, <laughs> number one. <laughs> there you go. Um, all right, to finish this off, we've got two games from the championship and then uh, mm. Dortmund in Bundesliga. And we are smashing time this week. We're killing it, guys. I hope you guys appreciate are the we time. Absolutely? We're on an hour now, last 15 minutes of smack out. Let's go. We're, we're back in swing things. <laughs> we're back. Forget the rust. We're, yeah, we're, no, we're, we're back. Maybe we should do this more often. Yeah, just take a break. Just take a break every and week. <laughs> we're, we're here. Um, let's talk about Rune. Rune. He's, he's Plymouth Who side. Who would have thought, eh? Coach of the year. Coach Sorry. Team. If we do a manager list, top number one. Get is, this man as England manager. <laughs> why, is it, why is it in? Yeah. <laughs> Get him What's a result? When I saw this on the Instagram feed, and they post something like that, I can't, I can't be reading this right. Show. Like, he scratched my eyes. I'm like, oh my god, Plymouth, first win yeah. for Rooney as a manager since. It's like Wayne Rooney beating Sunderland. Like, what's <laughs> the world turned into? And Sunderland, man, they, they they've been cooking. They've been good. They weren't, yeah, they weren't even that bad. No. I just thought Plymouth were, were good, um, particularly second half. First half was a bit of a ball fest. There was nothing in that. The, yeah, the soft was, penalty, yeah. which I mean, is it even a penalty? By the way, I don't think it was I mean, a penalty. From, from what I, from the highlights I saw. From the angle I saw, Did it looked like the softest thing ever. I don't even clipped him. It, like he touched him with his arm and fell over. Yeah. I don't know if he hit him with his like leg. It just like I just watch just the feet, but I, I just yeah, think he I didn't see it. I just think it was a soft penalty. Yeah. Um, but yeah, credit to them. Second half, Plymouth they came out and mm. got the two goals that they needed. They actually got a penalty that was genuinely yeah, a penalty. an actual penalty. Yeah, um, yeah. But then Mundell scores a goal oh, out of nowhere, screamer out of God, nowhere. What a this guy is he's, for, he's Mavadidi 2.0. He literally is. He literally is. is. He, looks, <laughs> he literally is the same dude. I was about to say he looks exactly... Is that racist? He looks exactly like him. Racism. <laughs> racism. <laughs> got cancelled. Conor Gallagher's jumping the podcast instead of jumping out. <laughs> he would not escape... He get Flynn here as well. He would, yeah, yeah. he would not escape the other game. Uh, let him go between um, all the clubs in the world. But yeah, <laughs> Mundell, um, he looks... Uh, he's a guy. He's, he's looking a, he's very a good. Guy. He's a guy. Um, but yeah, Plymouth just just found a way. Just, I don't get why more teams don't do that. Shoot from long just distance. Have a ping. Because it that can happen. It's a tough place to just palm it to either side. Mm, yeah. You have to just palm it just, in general. Yeah. And then you got a tap in. And so, the skipper comes up as well for the yeah, so It had like, to be. So fair play of them. They were near the towards the bottom. So That's their first win the season. Some, yeah, some of them were near the top and yep. just like that. Some of them now go second. West yep. Brom on top. Baggies West Brom looking top. looking pretty good. So. And a decent result as well, yeah. Have they beat Ports? Uh, I think so, yeah. I think yeah. it's Portsmouth. It's another tough game as well. So they're doing well. I kind of just like, breezed over the, the championship results. I watched the highlights. Yeah, yeah. A lot of football. No, I, I, only, focus, <laughs> I only focus on these two games because yeah. those are two results that popped out to me. Mm. Um, but no, I it's think Luton, did Luton get their first one? Or? Well, they might. I saw they got, I don't know if it was this week or last week. Cause, and it, was it QPR, the one before the international break? Yes, and they, yeah, they dropped and that they, game. Yeah, they won. Because they're on four points. I Beat believe. Millwall away. Tough away. Yeah. Jeez. Um, Good on Luton. Good on them. Finally getting a result. Finally. About time. Jesus. Yeah. But that's big for Plymouth because they're a team that they started to say up last yeah, season. Big, yeah. Strange call to get Rooney in, I thought. Because we see how it fell apart at they, They're good at that, Plymouth. They beat Leicester 1-0 last year as well, didn't they? They did too. So they don't mind. They, they, they do do these weird results at home. Yeah. It's a, just, it'd be a, t- a tough old place to go and, and play, but... I kind of hope... I just, Wazo kind of kicks on from him. Uh, I hope it's back to Derby days. I wouldn't mind seeing him actually being a decent a decent manager. So. Defy the expectations, because I swear every yeah. former player is just a... Or like English former player is just a rubbish manager. <laughs> they just I mean, suck just at Gerard, management. Lampard, Rooney, <laughs> fucking who else? They can't get the allegations. Man. Southgate. Southgate. <laughs> <laughs> give it up. Just, just give, give it up, yeah, lads. Let, let it go. English let football go. is just... yeah. It's time, it's time to go for you, boys. Yeah, it's time to go. So, for, yeah, first loss. First drop of points at all this year for Sunderland. Yeah, disappointing. And but it's, it's a championship, man. Like this championship. I'll go and battle someone eight 0 next week. As long as they, yeah, as long as they can bounce back, that's the thing. That's what the the teams that get promoted do. Yeah, they lose one, but then they'll go on a run of five or six, seven. You can sort of go, yeah, five and one. If you can go five and one the whole season, you yeah. basically do it right. You get yeah. top two and you qualify through because mm. that's 
six. Yeah, that's basically seven losses Pretty a much, year. That's yeah. basically that enough should to do it. Yeah, get you through. Unless the t- top two are just, just mental, that which crazy. usually there's one team that's mental, and then it's just and the, then the, the rest, close, right? Yeah. yeah. But it was a, it was a decent result, um, a great result for Plymouth and a, a learning, I guess, occasion for yeah. Sunderland. Yeah. You know what was a massive result was Burnley beating massive. Leeds away from home. Leeds are falling apart again. Worry. <laughs> so worry. Big at worry. home dropping points again. Like, oh. The amount of players they've lost. and it, they, they had good chances. They just couldn't score. That one-on-one the, the one first on one, minute. I think, was it Nyoto had a, a He had a good chance. Um, that had a couple. Um, I thought Trafford. Might, what a game. That was that was a Back big game for him. Big confidence boost for mm-hmm. him. That was the game he needed, I think. He's a good keeper. Yeah. He's obviously still young. But um, that was, yeah. I'm glad he had he that, that that game. At a big ground as well. Tough, team. Tough, yeah. tough atmosphere to deal with. And he's backs against the wall. You've lost yeah. your whole team pretty much. Oh, he's gone. Um, and I know Leeds have lost a lot as well, but they've got more quality than, than Burnley. Well, they've got Aronson, they've yeah. got Nyoto. Yeah, they've def- they got Melian in goal. Their defence is still... Yeah. Ampadu's still there. Yeah. They've, got, they've got continuity at least. Yeah. Whilst Burnley Enough lost of? literally their entire the spine team. plus their youngsters. Yeah. Like Otterbear and stuff. Yeah. So. Because the only... The, uh, like they got Anthony across from um, Bournemouth. Bournemouth, yeah, which um, is which is a, just a championship baller, right? Yeah. But like, he's, and then he's not. Like that's him. one of your big name signings. Yeah. Like that says a lot he's, about. I don't think he'll rip the league to shreds. He's, no. He'll be a good player, but yeah. <laughs> like good on good on um, Scott Parker. Good on him, man. Yeah. Tell you what, that's trouble for Leeds, though. To be honest, dropping more points. I know it's the first points I've dropped this season, but at home. Like it's, mm. I keep saying it because that last season they they, always, it's supposed to be a they, fortress. They always have this. Yeah. What was the was it Portsmouth for three three? Like, yeah, it's just like, you know this one. Um, Blackburn, Blackburn last year it was Blackburn. That was a big yeah, one. Black, I, was like, I think Southampton as well. They yeah. lost there or well, lost at home. It's supposed to be the, so, the scary mm. place to go. But teams don't fear it. Points. I think fans fans fear it teams, more than yeah, yeah players. Players yeah. Just are like oh, all right, lads. Yeah, away days. Kick about the boys. Away days, you know. Yeah, kick about kick about with the lads. Kick lads and then just go. We might get a few beers and. Yeah, he's stuffed on us, but, but it's fine. Right. Great goal from Kolyosha, by the way. Yeah, his own half. great goal. He's probably the great last, goal, yeah. last of the ima- remaining. His last is a bar. He's the, the last. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's him and Estev. I think he's the only ones mm. that are left. But, yeah. Unfortunate mistake. Obviously, he slipped, but yeah. Oh, the pass to him was a bit dodgy yeah. as well. Not, yeah. I, I think all in all, Burnley just played the perfect away performance. They had oh, like 30% yeah. possession. They just camped in their own, edge of their own area. Counter attacks. Yeah. Leeds yeah. should have. I mean, how did they have they how they didn't score? Oh. Go back to the opening minute. That know. that Joseph chance. You have to one on one. Put it wide. Oh, it hit the target. I know. They it just hit the. At if least if you get saved, okay. I'm and that didn't just like just miss. That put was wide. Bro, that was shocking. Yeah, a combination yeah. of they couldn't finish Trafford's heroics, and then I think in the end, Burnley had the better chance yeah, on Burnley the break. Just they just deserved it in the end. Yeah. If you're not going to finish, stuff yeah. What's the point? Yeah, exactly. That's a massive thing because again, you said <clears throat> at the current point in time they're in a bit of a pickle in terms of who's available for them. Mm. Um, let's have a quick look at the ladder, our uh, fortnightly ladder look. The the champion. I th- I'm really hoping we get three. It looks like we're going to get three like new teams come back in because Leicester, uh, not Leicester, uh, Leeds aren't looking good. Luton are near the bottom. Luton, yeah, and, relegation. Um, Oh my God. Sheffield. No, Sheff- Sheffield might Sheffield. be there. Where's Sheffield? They're, they're, they're sitting sixth right now. Yeah. So you've got the Baggies on top of 13. They had a crack last year. Chris Wilder, man. He is just the king of this. He loves the championship. <laughs> him, and, him and Buddy Scott Bog, I'll tell you what. Yeah. Sunderland second, Blackburn in third, Burnley fourth, Watford fifth, Sheffield sixth, Oxford in seventh, and Derby in eighth. So that's the, like Oxford, Blackburn. Like, yeah. I'm rooting for them. Yeah, I, 100%. I like Middlesbrough again in tenth, man. They just, they're they the most mid table championship. They're yeah. the only team that has a move. They're the Crystal Palace. They are Crystal Palace. They're the Palace. Crystal Palace yeah. of the championship. They are 10th to 12th every they'll single ca- season. They'll get the occasional like 6th as yeah, well. Yeah, they'll push up for one week. Because they'll, they'll, cut, they'll go from like 15th to 6th. And it's like, oh my God. Drop two in the bounce and, and then they go they lose down. on pens or yeah. something. Ridiculous. Yeah. Um, Leeds in 9th. QPR doing okay. They're stabilised. Yeah. Three draws there in 12th. But then yeah, the big one, I guess, is Luton. First win, but in 19th. Hopefully they can kick on. And I mean, they're just a long ass season. Luton. Let's do time. We've got like what we've been like ten percent the season basically. We're a long one. Crazy, go. ridiculous. Just to start, um, and then quickly finish us off to the big boy leagues. Um, Dortmund beating Heidenheim at the top mm. of the table. Clash four two. Entertainment. Always need entertainment at the Bundesliga, always, aren't we? Um, a great game. Obviously, Grassi's debut didn't quite get his goal. Still into, looked good though, but it was in part a part yeah. of it, right? It really heavily involved. Um, Pascal Gross, I think for me, was one of the. 
plays the game. He's passing array. He's corners even as well. I said, he just looked like he should have been the last 15 years. How much did they get him for? It was like 15 mil? Oh, nothing. I don't was think. it free? No, it wasn't free, was it? It might have. Well, maybe it was. There's no, I don't think, yeah, it might have been maybe free. it was free. I know he's 32. Regardless, but it like, was hell cheap. He, he's yeah. a player that doesn't need legs. He's, a, oh, he's, he's oh. just a part. He's, he's a like James Milner. Wizard. Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter how old he yeah. gets. He's just so good with the ball. He's going to be there. He's fantastic. And it's a player that's sort of needed because the team feels young without, mm. um, like, um, with a young manager and without um, Marco Royce there. Yeah. And without Matt Hummels there, I feel like it needed an older yeah. head. And not he's that perfect. Pascal Gross is like a champ league winner, but it's just he sort of has that aura he about has, him where yeah. he's like, he knows, he's a leader. And he was in the Bundesliga before he went to Brighton. Yeah. So he already knows, he knows the, the league. league. It's, it's not like you're just getting an experience. You're yeah. getting an experience from a guy that has not only played a lot of games, mm -hmm. but has experience of, of the league. And a German speaking legion. Yeah, yeah, that's what it helps for Baron the and the group. Yeah. He's oh, what a player, man. What a player. Super player. And I tell you what, who was a player? It's Adiemi. Two goals in this game here. Um, a sweeping counter the second goal the sweeping counter that was fantastic they went from mm. one end to the other in 15 seconds I put it down yeah. like, that's crazy sort of what they were doing crazy yeah. Hardenheim didn't get out their own half for the first 15 minutes mm. grew into the game as it went on fair play they, they took it to them yeah they didn't lose any no. any, uh, any supporters respect so marks are still up there 100% yeah. um, they're still going to be really dangerous they, they're yeah they might be sort of that Europa League Conference League spot maybe I can't they're see they're in the Conference League this season so as if they can balance that. Yeah. It's the only problem I see with I them. I can't see them sustaining it like Stuttgart in the top no. four last year. If they can, fair play to them. Yeah. Because there's going to be a lot of footwear to play for them this season. So the eight conference oh, I, games. I'd, I'd happily take it if they could hang around. Uh, hey, That'd be uh, sick. Another new, another new face to sick, talk about yeah. trick would be huge. Um, penalty right at the end for Emre Chan. I just about that. It was the most casual Bro. penalty you see of all time. That was, yeah. Bro walked up and just rolled it and said, yeah, you dive yeah. and yeah. roll down. Even the celebration just... Yeah, he's cool, calm, nice. yeah, yeah, it was yeah. good. Kind of boys. Good, good player. Good player. Great player. How good crazy player. is that, that Eddie Emmy was like, they were going to sell him to Juve. Oh my God. Maybe Juve they were openly well. going to do it, but the deal couldn't be agreed because Juve just didn't have the money, I guess. One of the great fallen trans fallen, fallen through transfers for them. Cause that, that's got to be one Juve are going to going to be yeah. very annoyed about. Especially with the inconsistency that if yielded and on like yeah. the other guys might have. And he's young, man. He's like, what, 23, 24? 23. That needs consistent football. Yeah. Looks like he might get it now under Sahin. I don't know how it's going to work out. The way he's, he's undroppable at the minute. His form is ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, and was it, well, for Max three Bayer. goals for Germany. He he's Max not Bayer. even again the game, which is annoying because we both want him at Hoffenheim. Just because just he, he needed another year. Another year. I'm, yeah, too early. I'm worried about it that. Too early, that was yeah. my big worry. Because you're definitely behind Garassi because he's he owns oh, his league. Like Garassi yeah. dominates his league. Yeah, he's the second, third best yeah. striker with along with Boniface. Absolutely. So. He just he. Knows where to be. He has a command. Sp he owns mm. a space. It's like you can't really drop him. And then like, like Adiemi came down the middle. They can f mm. mix things Malin? up to be good. Malin's mention there. Him. His, His goal, goal as well. Yeah. Like it's just like where do you fit and what order do you fit? Byron does he get forced out wide? So, mm. he, I just don't see him as that player. I think he's. I don't. He's too, too much of that. And Garassi's so build. unique that if he's fit, you're starting him. Yeah, he's tall, him. but he's quick and he's yeah. agile. Yeah, and he's finishing abilities. Incredible, so it's they've got some good problems at least. Yeah, that, it's a good problem to it's have. Problem. But for him personally, it's oh, it's a stinker. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's a big stinker. Yeah. And maybe he just thinks he's gonna ride it out. I don't know how he's, where he thinks he's gonna go on there. I mean, the Dortmund find a way to make these young players work. Oh, so absolutely. they had Jamie Bruno Gittens on the bench, and he's, <sighs> he's serious a, footy player. He saved so. them in that opening game, did he not? He was, was yeah, he came on and came scored on two and goals, the double. So yeah. they've got talent there. Some their benches, their bet, they've always lacked good. Yeah. Depth off depth the, bench. the bench. They've always had young depth, but now they got proven young yep. depth. So I, love, I just love yeah. that midfield man. I, I, why do I have him fourth? What, what, what? I had Leipzig third. They're, they're still Leipzig still. They've, uh, they've been still there. they've been getting the results without looking good. I say I, I haven't liked them. Yeah, I haven't but liked them either. They've, they're good. Like they're, not, they're, they're not as free flowing. And look, maybe Olmo's a big. You know, he's was probably maybe a bit underrated mm. at Leipzig. So, it's looking like the, the relegation tour could definitely be the relegation tour again. Pauling hosting. Yeah, I was, I was going to say our prediction for because we had Bochum, we had um, Pauling, and we had uh, Holston. Because Bochum, yeah, Bochum on zero as well. So we're looking smack bang for mm. that. I think that's already decided them for <laughs> They're all on zero. So, yeah, <laughs> they, can, they, can, they can get stuck. They are shocking. Um, yeah. yeah, my Wolfsburg shot didn't go down well. They're still 12. <laughs> they could kick in the gear. Um, who was I going to talk about? I think uh, Stuttgart. For their first win in the weekend. Yeah, they're slowly getting there. They're, they're getting to grips with things. This is, this they've is, looked... They've looked... In, in parts... Like, 
their it's patches weird. They as well. look better than Leipzig in parts, but yeah. Leipzig have got the, the results. Absolutely. But Stuttgart just just giving away too many goals. They'll better on the. I think they won three one on on the weekend, so they'll better. But mm. hopefully they can kick on because yeah, they're, they've still got some really good players there. Awesome, it's an absolute gun. Undav's still cooking, so it's nuts. He's <laughs> incredible, man. There's a lot to be excited yeah. about in the Bundesliga, but they yeah. Bayern top, Dortmund second, yeah. Leverkusen third. So it's good. It's, keep it's, keep it's, keep it's, them it's, them three and add say, Leipzig to that. Yeah, get so, Leipzig in yeah. there yeah. and get him amongst it because it's looking very very yeah. solid. The top there. <clears throat> there we go. We have nailed it this week. By the way, that deserves a A star for us. Um, thank you, jumping on, mate. It's, you so know, good. for the last minute, we have got. Just, ch- just some ch- check out some predictions for uh, Champions League. Let's just get some Champions. Actually, the two Serie A big games weekend: the Milan derby. Who are you gonna take oh, in that game? Milan derby. What, when's that this weekend? Is I think that, that's. A, I think I'm sure that's this weekend. Is that this weekend? Oh, I hope it was. I thought it was. I haven't. I haven't looked. I just want to know. In case I want to watch. Uh, let me have a quick squeeze here. I'm pretty sure it's Milan derby. Monday two forty five. Oh, oh shit, that, mate. Watch it and then get the, the, the lads for, for the Monday <laughs> straight on. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is sleep anyway? What is it? <laughs> Uh, and Juventus oh, that's, oh, that, I'm, I'm going to go... I'm going to go 2-1 Inter. Yeah. I still think it'll be close. I still I think, think Inter are slowly building. Best, yeah. But I, I think they're going to have a big result soon, Inter. Like, they'll smash a team. So Yeah, they're coming into the... But to be fair, I mean, their next... I mean, their next few games... They've got the top league, league leaders, Ludinese, after that. Yeah, yeah, some, yeah. There's some big games so, that come into... Yeah, 2-1 Inter. Inter, I'll yeah, I'll go... Yeah, I'll go... I'll go 3-1 Inter. Yeah. Inter. Oh, and then Juventus-Napoli. That's a big one. Where's that? Is that at Juve? That's at Juve. Nil, nil. <laughs> um, <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. um, this might actually be it. Um, yeah, actually might be nil, nil. Mm, Fuck, this might be it. This, this generally might be a nil, nil. I'm going to go... I think, I think it's a draw. I think one one. I, I, I was going to go one yeah. one as well. Yeah, at least give him a goal. At least give yeah, something. don't please you, mate. Please, Lukaku goal. Motto, just, just please. Love each goal. Two striker yeah. scores. And then I want to hear yeah. these th- for these three games: Milan, Liverpool. Mm, oh, you, oh, you dick! <laughs> you just had to. <laughs> didn't you? Had to do it. You just I had, had to. to. Um, I think this will this will be harder than I think a couple of people are expecting. I've been seeing people saying this will be an easy win for Liverpool. I'm like, what? <laughs> tough, tough way, I think it'll be tough, but I got, I got, but I just think after the game against Nottingham, I think there's going to be a, a reaction. There has yeah, to be. Yeah. Um. So I'll go. I'm gonna go three two. Four goals. Mm. I'm gonna three one with two. I'm gonna go three one. I'll go three back Liverpool. Yeah. Um. I think we'll start off like a house on fire. I think your then, pace of your front three will cook them. Yeah. You know how high Milan's line is. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, that's actually that might, that actually might be goals. Mm. I just can't see Liverpool conceding two goals. Yeah, I just I don't know. I, I just I just think there'll be goals. Just I, just think, I just think we'll start off so well. Yeah. Get a bit tired maybe and, and then, then just, come back. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Um the biggest one, Man City Inter. This is this is a That's a great game. Massive game. If Inter come ready to go, that's this is gonna thing. be when, yeah. Oh, that's hard. That is so hard. I oh, think man. man City get the better because at home. I, I yeah. I, I want to say Inter so bad, but it's Man City at it's home. Great. I, this one actually might scream a three-two, like a yeah. Haaland hat trick, and then like mm. one from Kalinogli, one from Turam, something like that. Mm. I'll go three-one. Yeah, Man City. Yeah. It just yeah, it's so yeah. hard to go against. Unfortunately, Man City. <laughs> yeah, no, it's because I, I want Inter to do well, but yeah, three-one Man City. And then to continue the um, Italian trend, Atalanta Arsenal, which is underrated, Ooh, good game. Underrated, underrated good game. Yeah, yeah. it's gonna be a good one. I just don't see Atalanta scoring. Uh, yeah, Arsenal's, just, too good Arsenal's the back two at the minute. Even though just their back four. I mean, Timber, I thought was it was incredible. He's been he's been probably the best, maybe the best left back in the world. Yeah, <laughs> this yeah, season yeah. he's given up the um, Kunde vibe. He's been incredible. Um, I just saw. I just can't see Atalanta scoring. I know, but I know like, how good they are in Europe. Look, Lukman's in the form of his life right Lukman, now. Yeah, I know. Like, if he doesn't break this Arsenal side, like an Adam will look. It is. Really it is because they were interested in getting him as <laughs> I well. Can see so it happening. It would, it all the players, sense. there were the memes about it. Like maybe a bit tired from the north. Oh, no, I, I'm just trying to make the news. Trying to find a reason. I'm gonna go two 0 Arsenal. I two think. Nil. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna, just, gonna, I just can't see them scoring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be bold then. I'm gonna go two one Arsenal. I thought you were going to say Atalanta. No, 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 no,
Maybe I changed my mind. Prediction video I'm going to record. Well, yeah, will that be the same? Uh, I'm recording this after this. I might change <laughs> yeah. all my predictions. Yeah. Yes, there you go. <laughs> three, no. two, three, two in time. Yeah, yeah, go on, go on. Yeah. <laughs> I think that, that one's going to be a good game. Yeah. It might be a tough watch. I think there's watch. a lot of good, like, there's even Real Madrid Stuttgart. Uh, like, Stuttgart on the, on the attack. Yeah, could I would be, say catch him out and catch him out. Because against Sociedad, did you see the mini match for that game? Did not. Sociedad hit... Should have scored like three goals minimum. They hit the bar four times. I just the they hit the I bar the twice. I think they hit the post twice. So yeah, the Real are vulnerable. Yeah. Before before Real Madrid scored, Sociedad should have been at least two 0 up. Easy. Jeez. Easy. So it's yeah. They're, they're gettable. It's, it's gettable at yeah. the moment. They're they very gettable. gettable. You enter some PSV there as well. Yes, it's a good game. And let's go RB will be a good game as well. I'm very excited for that one as well. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to do it this season. It's been too much. I don't think I'm going to leave the TV on and just sleep through it. Let's see how we go. <laughs> well, there we go. Uh, another great week of football action. Next week, a lot of excitement. We're thinking, we can yeah. finally start covering oh Champions my God, League. Bro, uh, yeah. on the week. This on might Disney be the weeks. last time we have a, a good time for it because Champions League recap is going to be huge. List. We're going to have to do like half and half it with like yeah. 15 minute Champions League wrap up, weekend wrap up. Yeah. Or and we then just list. We are, yeah. Or we like just smash through the league games and then and go in depth on it. Yeah. This. This is perfect Champions League times middle of the week. Mm-hmm. These ones. Be interesting to see. We'll oh, see how we go. We'll sort it out. A lot we'll of it excitement out. to yeah. be had as we love. Um, thank you for jumping on, mate. Remember, we're guys, f- to celebrate being bang on one hour 15 or around that <laughs> five stars on Spotify. <laughs> come on. Like, comment, subscribe on YouTube. This time's not normally bang, so hopefully the views go through the roof this week. Yep. Um, let us know your... Oh, we've already seen the games. Predicts... Not, Next Champions predict the, games. the Juve. Yeah, yeah. pick yeah. the Juve yeah. Napoli the game and pick the um, yeah. uh, Milan derby. That's what you can do it for us. Um, until next week, mate. I'll see you then. Thank you. See you later, guys.